Gojo is not dead yet. Gojo returned in chapter 261 of Jujutsu Kaisen. I mean that was something we were all waiting for and thought was going to happen. But it didn't. But it is still possible that Gojo will return. Be with me until the end of this video so that I can fully explain how such a thing is possible. This chapter was one of the most wonderful and best chapters of Jujutsu Kaisen. But the event that we were all waiting for didn't happen and Gojo did not return. The way that chapter 260 ended was very cruel and Gege fooled us again like always. In chapter 260 when Suguna came back and saw Gojo Satoru's face, we were all fooled and thought that Gojo had returned. The whole internet exploded from Gojo's comeback. You opened every social media, it was all about Gojo Satoru and that he sacrifices one of his eyes with the binding vow and returns. But Gege was laughing at us at that moment and fooling us with his tweets. In short, after all this events, chapter 261 was released and we saw that at least Sukuna was not hallucinating and that Gojo was really back but it was only Gojo's body with Yuta inside. Sukuna quickly threw Yuji and panic but when Gojo comes out of that fog, his face is completely clear. The head is stitched and Yuta's brain is in it and it was at that time that Sukuna encouraged Yuta and told him I didn't think you were capable of going this far Okutsu Yuta. We all know how Yuta got into Gojo's body but let's have an explanation here. Before killing Kenjako, Yuta copies his technique like the other techniques he copied all this time that is he gives a part of the person bodies to Rika to eat and then that technique is copied. And Kenjako's main technique which we all know was that he could put his brain in the body of dead people and actually make that body his own. So by copying this taking Yuta takes the body of his sensei Gojo who is dead. We were all upset after seeing this case and the first thing that came to our mind was we said that Gojo is not coming back and that Yuta took his body and he's not real Gojo we want our own Gojo and etc. Although I have to tell you contrary to what we all think Gojo is coming back. There are many signs for this subject in Jujutsu Kaisen manga that confirm this subject. Now I will explain everything to you but let me tell you about the condition of Yuta first so that you can fully understand what is exactly going on. After we saw Gojo's stitched face in this chapter, we have a flashback to Rika eating Kenjako so that Yuta can copy his technique. Exactly the same explanation that I said a little earlier. And so Yuta reveals this plan to everyone and says that he wants to do this and almost everyone is against this case and they are not satisfied with this war. But Yuta convinces the others and tells them in order to defeat the monster they must become a monster. And this is where Hakari says that they will only implement this plan if it is their last resort. And here we understand a very important point about Yuta's power and that is that Yuta's copying technique allows him to copy the course technique of others for 5 minutes. Only for 5 minutes. So here comes a very big question. What will happen to Yuta who copied Kenjoko's technique and entered Gojo's body after 5 minutes? And Mei Mei here tells three possibilities that may happen after 5 minutes. The first possibility is that Kendrako's ability is such that it must be used quickly after being copied so when Yuta is about to enter Gojo's body he dies which it didn't happen and Yuta managed to enter Gojo's body. The second thing is that Yuta goes into Gojo's body and dies after 5 minutes. And the third thing is that he is permanently stuck in Gojo's body and can no longer use his own body and his course technique. Remember this silly possibilities cause we will mention later. We had another flashback in this chapter where Yuta explains these plans to Gojo himself and Gojo doesn't show any opposition and says that he doesn't care what will happen to his body if he is going to die. Also Gojo refers to his bloodline and Yuta and tells Yuta that you are stronger than his bloodline. And sure the flashbacks end and the chapter continues with Sukuna's fight against Yuta and the chapter ends with the infinite avoid versus malevolent shrine. After finishing this wonderful chapter almost everyone come to the conclusion that with this chapter it was confirmed that Gojo Satoru is 100% dead and will not come back. But I have to tell tell you that no, there is a strong possibility that Gojo will return and there is still no 100%. In fact with the publication of this chapter the possibility of Gojo's return increased but how? After all this explanation now it's time to tell you in full. In the episodes of the first season of Jujutsu Kaisen many things were said about the soul and body and the relationship between these two. Since the character Maito entered the anime due to the power of Maito which was to change the structure of the soul 
This connection was fully explained. Maito believed that the soul came before the body and the body was made to cover the soul. But we will see this discussion between Kenjako and Maito once again and Kenjako says to Maito that you say that the soul came before the body but it is not so. The body is the soul and the soul is the body. And exactly Kenjako's words are completely true. In Jujutsu we have seen this case several times that the body and the soul are directly connected and related to each other and there is no priority. We will now tell you two of the Jujutsu events that fully demonstrate this issue. One of them was when an old lady named Ogami tried to transfer Toji Fushiguro in her grandson's body. And further we saw that Toji took full control of his body from that person and actually destroyed that person's soul and took full control of his body. And when Toji's body returned, his soul returned. And a more clear example about Kenjako himself which confirms his word. We saw that when Kenjako sealed Gojo in the Shibuya arc, Kenjako's body which was actually Geto's body took control of his body for a moment and he intended to take control of his body from Kenjako. So all these examples confirm one thing that is as long as body exists the soul always exists and does not die. So how is this going to be related to Gojo's return? Well as I explained to you we all understood that Yuta entered Gojo's body with the Kenjako technique. So if Geto was able to take control of his body from Kenjako, I mean even for a moment he was still able to do it. So we can say that Gojo can also do this and take control of his body from Yuta. Now let's mention the three conditions that Mei Mei said in the last chapter. One of those possibilities was that Yuta would die after 5 minutes because Kenjako's course technique was gone. So after 5 minutes of Yuta, there is a possibility that Yuta will leave Gojo's body and lose both his body and his soul and die completely. And it is in this situation that Gojo may be able to gain control of his body and return in the last moments. Also let's not forget one thing that Gege doesn't repeat any topic several times for no reason. I mean this issue of the soul and the body and the fact that these two are one was discussed several times and he explained this issue to us completely. So I feel that Gege has explained this issue to us for such a time as Gojo's return so that we can fully understand this issue. So there is a very strong possibility that we will lose Yuta but Gojo Satoru will return instead. And I hope that Yuta's fan don't attack me because of this but even though I love Yuta's character if something like this happens I'm really grateful. No matter what, Gojo is going to come back, a character who can fight with Sukuna in the best way and will surely win this time. I hope this theory turns out to be true because this is the only way Gojo can come back. Thank you very much for watching this video, this is my channel Aizen Anime. If you like this video, I will be very grateful if you subscribe me and until the next video, have a nice day.